During the first years of U.S. involvement in Vietnam, North American's F-100 Super Sabre was given the role of tactical fighter support. The Super Sabre was the world's first production supersonic airplane and was designed from the outset to operate at speeds above Mach 1 for extended periods. In January of 1964, the Joint Chiefs of Staff sent a memo to Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara indicating their desire to escalate efforts in Indochina. Their plan included intelligence flights over Cambodia and Laos, arming and advising the Republic of Vietnam's Air Force and U.S. bombing of targets in North Vietnam. The F-100 did its share of that. Early on in the Vietnam conflict, the F-100 Super Sabre passed the mantle of strike role superiority to a newer, more powerful fighter. 